Hello magical people, how are you today? My name is Cosmina and welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm so excited. We're gonna talk about eyeshadow palettes and what eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection. And we're gonna answer 13 questions. Uh, this video was inspired by Samantha March and her, her collaboration with Ellie Klein. And this is palette tag so let's, let's get into start it. with what is my newest eyeshadow palette the newest eyeshadow palette that I got and I haven't even played with yet is this one from Urban Decay hi buddy what's it <laughs> say hello to my baby and it's called G Train I haven't played with it I just bought it like um, a week ago or so I got it because of this uh, colors I was really curious to see how they're gonna perform I have like I said I haven't tried it yet but I'm, I am so excited to see how these are gonna perform on my eyes and not only that um, I never had anything from Urban Decay I know that might sound really weird for some people but I was never interested in purchasing any of the Urban Decay palettes like the big palettes so now I'm like okay I kind of want to see how their formula is and I decided to go with something small and also I think this was was on sale on Sephora's website when I purchased it my oldest uh, palette from my collection is this one from Ace Beauty which is the grandiest palette this is an absolutely gorgeous palette I had this palette for like two years now oh, let me show you the colors in it these are some really gorgeous colors i wanted to declutter the last year but i uh, decided to play with it one more time to see how it is and uh, i fell in love with it again so it's still in my collection probably gonna still stay in my collection for another few years but this is an absolutely gorgeous um eyeshadow palette i'm gonna leave a link right here um because i recorded playing with it to see how it performs so now let's talk about my most expensive palette this was a little bit tricky because i was like i thought the one that I had that I had that was the most expensive was the conspiracy palette but no man I was wrong it's not a conspiracy palette it's actually still from Jeffree Star is this one is the bloodlust palette uh, that I purchased uh, back in February I believe and uh, this one is a nice palette I don't know I, I am not very drawn to it to be honest with you uh, because it has all these purples in it but it is okay palette it's not too bad um, just I don't I'm not I'm not too attracted to it there's some beautiful shades in there that I played with it I'm gonna leave the link for that video right here but it is a nice palette and it is I believe $56 so this is the most expensive one I do not have any Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath so, in my collection so yeah this one is the most expensive one the most affordable palette is a palette that I was able to find at TJ Maxx um, I found it last year and I paid only $2.99 on it it is crazy but this is a palette that is called she 16 color up um, this is the price tag right there you can see it but it has some really beautiful shades in here that I played with they, they're really nice I was like when I got it, I just wanted this color. That's why I bought it for because of this bright yellow. But I did play with those shimmers and I love those shimmers as well. Let me show you a few swatches of it. So here are a few swatches of this. It's a really nice palette. I do love those uh, the yellow and also those shimmers. They're really nice. I mean, it's not one of the greatest formula, of course. But for the price... It's amazing for my everyday palette to be honest I'm not that type of person that has one palette that is like oh this is the palette that I always want to go to whatever day it is I I'm not that type of person I just don't know whatever however I feel in the day of I'm just opening the drawer and see what thing I like the most and then I go with that but for this question I decided to answer with something that I 
honestly used a lot and that i think that would be suitable any day you know even for daytime and evening time you can do whatever you want with it it's really beautiful palette from maybelline new york this is nudes of new york absolutely gorgeous this i played with it before it's an absolutely gorgeous um eyeshadow palette and um, i'm gonna leave the link for that video right here but uh, man i totally think this will be suitable for everybody every day and not only that you can put it in your purse if you just don't want to do something really crazy during the day and you just want to apply one shade or something like that but you want to go out after work and you have this in your in your um in your bag you can smoke it out and make it suitable for nighttime as well now for the most colorful palette in my collection honestly i do have some colorful palettes in my collection but not as colorful as this one this one is from sugar cosmetic banana split um palette and it is these are the colors in there they're spring like summery um eye eyeshadows i love this uh, palette for color wise i did a review of it right here you'll see the link <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous i played with it and my favorite my favorite eyeshadow in this collection is this one that is called pistachio gorgeous absolutely gorgeous that's how it looks like gorgeous now for the smallest or in the biggest palette that i have in my collection there are going to be two things and I, I, one of them will be a little bit more surprising than the other but the smallest palette that i have in my collection it is this one it's a palette it's a it's a japanese palette it's called gilgamesh makeup palette uh for eyes lips and cheeks i received this one in uh, no make no life subscription box because i was subscribed to them um last year but these are the shades i really love those shades they're only shimmers and that one is uh, something that you can apply on your lips and also on your cheeks it's really beautiful shade but i haven't played that much with it that's how it is so you can apply a little bit of that on your lips actually let me put a little bit on mine yeah, not bad. But yeah, this is a really nice palette. I believe this one is only $10 as well. As for the biggest one from my collection, that is Morphe. I have this one, which is called 350S. I haven't bought it myself. I received it in one of the mystery bags because I am not drawn to huge palettes like this to be honest with you. I prefer something more like in the 20 or even under. This one is 35 shades but there's some really beautiful nude shades in there that you can play with for the everyday use. I would say you can take this with you for weddings. But yeah, you can play a lot with this at weddings and uh, it's gorgeous. It's it's really gorgeous. But it's not something that I go to that often. You know, Morphe Formula is a hit or miss. There's some shimmers in there that are very pigmented. Some they're not. But it's a nice palette. It's still a nice palette. For best memory... <laughs> Oh, this was a hard one, but there's two that really brought some really nice memories to me. So let's talk about this one. This one, it is from uh, ColourPop X Sailor Moon Collection. This palette, not it brings back a lot of memories from my childhood and I was so excited when they finally came up with a collection that had Sailor Moon in it. I would have preferred to have a little bit more of the other girls in there just you know and have a, a little bit more of a different um, different colors in here but it's still really beautiful and it still brings a lot of good memories for me and I was super excited when it came out and I was super excited I was able to 
get it because I know a lot of people were trying to get it and not a lot of them were successful. So yeah, this one brings back good memories. And this one I used it for my niece uh, baptism and I went to Romania and um, not only I applied it on myself but also I applied it on my sister and my mom so i absolutely love the colors in this alien palette but not only that it's my favorite out of all the jeffree star palettes is this palette and you can win one i'm gonna leave the link down right here <laughs> where i show everything else that you can win for the palettes that I personally think deserves the um, worth the hype, uh, there I have two palettes for this one because I was like I cannot choose, I cannot pick one of them because one of them is more recently in my collection. The other one I had a little bit longer, but first it's heaps of sweets from Shang So from EXO Beauty. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. She came out with this last year in November and oh my god, I am so glad I purchased it. I was a little bit on the fence back then if I wanted to make this purchase because there were so many other things that I was buying in the same time. Conspiracy, Tati Beauty, you know, a lot of other stuff. But I am so glad I purchased this because this is one of my favorites from my collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. Those shimmers in there, oh, so pretty. The second one that I chose to talk about it that I think it's worth the hype is the Soul Tree palette. And when first I looked at it, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be really into that. It's not necessarily calling my name, but once I played with it, I was impressed. And um, I'm definitely, this definitely deserves um, the hype around it. One palette that I truly don't believe it worth the hype is this one this one is Tarte's Pro Remix this is um a really weird palette like color wise and everything it's really weird but the, there's only two mattes in this palette and they're very very um patchy they don't swatch really well they don't go on your on your eyelid really well and some of those shimmers are not looking good either so for me, this one nah, didn't work the hype. It's not worth the hype. The most used palette in my collection, which is KKW X Mario. This one I purchased it last year. This is how it looks like. I absolutely love this because there's some really beautiful shimmers, but also this blue is gorgeous. Um, look at this color as well. They're very pigmented, very beautiful. They blend in really nice on top of each other. And it's something that you can play with on everyday use. And if you want to give yourself a little bit of color, you also have that. This is good for travel. Well, I took this with me in Japan. Also, I took this with me, I believe, Vegas or something like that. So, yeah. I love this palette. I really use this palette a lot. If you decide to make this video as well, please don't, please let me know so I can come and watch it as well. I absolutely love this uh, tag. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!